Hey there, awesome fans. Earl from Awesome Gaming here, and we've got more Button Kaido's Eternal Wings in the Lost Ocean. Last time we got to Wazen and learned that Shella was the queen of the land. This time we're picking up the Delphinus from the Flobos in Gomacia. Furthermore, there is one other thing we need to do here in Gomacia now that we've done everything we need to do in Waz Well, not everything we need to do in Wazen, but. If you recall, last episode we picked up a new member of Kuzman's family tree, and she had mentioned that her husband and daughter were here in Gomesia, so we need to find them. We can go against the wind up this way. I'm freezing. My leg got stuck in a ditch. I thought I was going to die when the snow started piling up around me. You are looking for relatives of this Kuzman living in Furkad? I'm related to him? I don't understand completely, but I'll help you. You did save my life. Can you hand me the family tree? Um, let me see. Where should I sign? Here? Okay, I got it. Eunice, eight years old, female, a regular girl, the apple of her father's eye, a strong girl, able to travel on her own. Let me get this straight. My grandfather, Kuzman, is sick and dying in a town called Furkad? Mm, okay, I've made up my mind. I'm going to go see him by myself, without my dad. I'm so fed up with him. He's so over overprotective. I need my space. Mom would let me go alone for sure. Traveling by myself is going to be so exciting. See you later! Well, good for you, kid. Your mother's already there, so... Now, let's go get her father. If we can avoid the arachnid, that would be... Super! Alright, I suppose it was good we fought that arachnid. It did drop us drop another wave cutter for Kibari, so... We can definitely add that to his deck afterwards. You can definitely farm in this area, it's just difficult with the wind and the snow just snowing you down, snowing you down, slowing you down, and it just gets rather uh, tedious after a while. Alright, the wind started blowing in our direction for that. Now we need to get around these flumers because... The father of that girl, there he is. What? You found her? Where? Where is she? Where's my little girl? What? She went back all by herself? Where to? Whose house? The house isn't for God. I don't think I'm getting it. I know it's freezing out here, but can you give me a more detailed explanation? <laughs> it means mother's husband. Hmm. So the stepfather of mine wants to see his relatives before he dies? That's where Eunice went, is it? And Yamin, too? Now I'm starting to see why you're here. We've been to the Sadal Sud Frontier on a family trip before. So, I suppose Eunice couldn't have, could have gone to Fracard by herself. I know she's my daughter, but she's a smart one. Alright, I'll sign the family tree. Right here, okay? Gabriel, 55 years old male. Overprotective of his daughters, hardly cares about his wife anymore. Yeesh. You've done a lot for me. I've got to go now. My daughter needs me. I'll see you again at my stepfather's house. Till then, I wish you the best of luck. Cool. Alright. Now, Wazen kind of has its own world map, as you can see right here. Uh, we get access the Cliffs of Gomacia that way. Then up here, we just have the ability to go into Cursa. Alright, I'm actually going to go 
going to uh, hand off that Delphinus constellation that we just picked up. Since we're here, might as well. <laughs> oh no, let's do it. Now give us 35 out of 50. And we get another Sforzando for our troubles. Alright. Okay, so we need to go to the Ritual Room, which is back on the top floor of Castle Castle uh, Castle Caffel Jidma. So we go up this way. Up more stairs. And then over to the right. I highly recommend saving here because this is going to be a rather unique experience. Oh, I don't think there's anything in here for us. Oh, there is! There's a Sagittarius constellation behind the altar. Well. Your Majesty, all of you, Please take care of yourselves. We will, Barnett. I promise we'll be back with the Ocean Mirror. I'm not worried, Your Majesty. Are you all ready? Very well, then. I'll send you off to the Lake of the Dragon. This is the Goddess of Ice. This is a unique battle that Shella partakes alone. We have a hand of seven Magnus that we don't know the identities of. And what we need to do is match the Magnus that the Goddess of Ice has up above. Alright, we got really lucky there and we got the camera. So now... What we need to do is just randomly pick one. If we if we get it wrong, we take damage. There is one of each for every element. All right. Every time we succeed, we deal a hit to the Gauze of Ice. And after we succeed, a, I believe it's eight times, we end up winning. Now, after we use up the camera, I believe a Healing Magnus... Nope. A Chance Magnus takes its place, allowing us a 50-50 shot 
at getting a hit. Alright, so we're back to the water. Hey! Nice! Water once again. Alright. Uh, first one. Awesome. Alright, so it's actually only four times we need to do it, it seems. Which is pretty lucky. You have done well. Take the mirror now, my daughter. But be prepared. Your possession of this mirror means the time has drawn near. When the mighty ocean must be released. Mm. Yes, I understand. Completing this boss, I suppose you can call it a boss, we receive the Ocean Mirror, a healing magnus that also works as defense, providing a defense of 125 with a light defense of 75, and increases all of our resistances to 100%. Alternatively, it heals 1000 HP. It is one of the best magnets in the game to have and we now have it it will always have a single spirit number of nine as well we also obtain another sacred wine and holy grail for this so if you haven't been making any sacred wines lately why, why you haven't been I don't I wonder why you'll get another one here so you can always make more and more holy grails if you need them Thank the heavens you are safe. How did it go? I have the mirror. Wonderful. I knew you could do it, your majesty. I'm so proud of you. About two years ago, I had a dream foreshadowing the end of the world. Queen Shella also had a terrible nightmare. It was then that she lost most of her magical powers. Something was happening to the world. The Queen decided to seek for answers on her own. She told me she had made a promise with her mother, the previous queen, to go and look for the cause. Queen Shella would never listen to anybody once she'd made up her mind. Yet she was still afraid of the outside world and what was happening around us. It was hard to know who would be friend and who would be foe. Not knowing who to trust, Queen Shella decided to travel incognito. <sighs> Are you awake, Your Majesty? Yes. Sorry for worrying you. I'll be fine now. Drink this, my dear queen. It should cure you of any fatigue or dizziness. 
Thank you, Barnett. What's wrong? I suppose I used a few more herbs than you're used to. Was it too bitter? No, that's not it. Tell me, Barnett. Those who bathe in the light of the end Magnus, one who is transformed after touching the power of the evil god, do you think the mirror would allow me to bring them back? I would say yes, Your Majesty. The mirror should be able to free anyone struck with the cursed God's breath, taken by darkness, and return them to their former selves. Really? Yes. Her Majesty should trust this old nanny. I know you want to save that young man from the darkness. I figure saving him may be your top priority. Barnett? But I often wonder... Whatever happened to those who banished the evil god long ago? A race of beings with mysterious powers, the children of the Earth. Have they disappeared completely? We don't have time to sit around pondering whether the people of those old legends exist or not to help us. need not be worried. The great Mizuti be with you. Yes, of course. I'll be all right now. Thank you, everyone. We should be heading back. Queen Karelia, Duke Calbrin, King Ladakan, all the people of Sadal Sud, Diadem, Anua Nua, Mira, and Al Fard. And Callus. Everyone's counting on us. Damn right. Let us go back to them. Yes, on the double. That we do. However, there is one last thing we need to do before we depart from Wazen. <laughs> so, first things first, we need to head back into Cursa. And remember that room, that uh, room I said had nothing for us last episode? Yeah, I was wrong. If we go back this way, I believe we... Yeah, we inspect the giant fish back here. Ursa Minor. Alright, let's head on over to the dock at castle and take off on our brand new dragon. The white dragon is our national symbol, a creature of great power that has been passed down for generations. Though she might be very attached to you, Queen Shella, please refrain from riding the dragon without permission. But I... I need to ride the dragon! A legendary creature. This white dragon is the last of its kind. The only dragon left in the world, actually. Um... We fought a saber dragon in the forest. Speaking of which, does this white dragon have blue eyes? <laughs> I believe we talked to this guy. 
This is the White Dragon's Den. According to Lady Barnett, those who are not citizens of Wazen are forbidden to enter. Um, I mean, but since Queen Shella is with you, there's no problem. Please have a look at our White Dragon, the pride of Wazen. Okay, it actually just occurred to me what we need to do. Uh, we need to go back. And I think we actually do need to go into that throne room. Because... Nope, not the throne room. Where is... Oh, I know where she is. Yeah, we need to go back to the ritual room and talk to Barnett. Barnett, it's okay for me to use the white dragon, right? <laughs> of course, Queen Shella. For the battles you have ahead and the destinations you must reach, the white dragon is perhaps your only chance. Regular ships probably won't be able to last nearly as long. But before you ride her, there's one more thing I'd like you to do, Queen Shella. Though the white dragon is very attached to you, it doesn't mean it, it is yours to keep. It merely means it has been passed on to you, like it has been to the successive knights of Wazen for generations. So I'd like you to watch over her as one of the successive knights would, Shella. The four ice sculptures that are displayed in this ritual room are sculptures of knights that have had the white dragon stand beside them for generations. Each of them was a veteran that specialized in a particular weapon. But these sculptures, don't you feel as if something's missing from them? Queen Shella, if you understand the souls of the successive knights, make the weapons they're missing and complete the ice sculptures. Of course, you should let a professional sculptor do the work. Instruct the sculptor on which weapons to make, Queen Shella. If you can develop an understanding of all the knights, the White Dragon will allow you to be its master, and it will bond with your soul. Now, may the success of knights' protection be with you. Alright, so we need to find a professional sculptor. Luckily, we met one last episode, inspecting the engravings on one of the pillars in the castle. However, by now, he's gone back to his workshop in Cursa. So if we go into the far building over here on the left... Oh, Queen Shella! I can't really take my hands off this project. So, I'm sorry to talk to you like this. Oh, what can I do for you? Actually, I'd like you to make some ice sculptures for the knight statues in the ritual room. Could you come with me? Right now? Mm, it'd be a little hard. When I went to the castle a while ago, I came up with a new idea for a sculpting technique. I'd like to test it out, but it takes time and research. I'm really sorry, Queen Shella, but that's something I can't do at the moment. After all, I'm an artisan with a free spirit. Maybe this doesn't sound respectful, but my son, Junior, right there, can go in my place. I criticize him all the time, but he's actually pretty darn good. I'll bet he'd do a fine job, Your Majesty. Okay, I'll talk to your son. Thank you. I'd like you to do me a favor. Would you mind? I heard from my father. You're going to let me sculpt some statues in the castle, right? You can count on me. I'll do my best. You want me to make them in the castle's ritual room, right? I'll head over there now and wait for you to get me the material, Queen Shella. The material? Yeah, I need snow to sculpt, and it can't j be just any s old snow. Only sparkling snow can make a sculpture appropriate enough for the castle. You can just visit me whenever you're ready, Queen Shella. I'll be waiting for you. So, remember that sparkling patch of snow in Gomacia? Yeah, we're going to have to go back there one final time. So, let's head on down there and grab the sparkling snow. Alright, we're 
gonna dodge the flumers to the best of our ability. Thankfully, it's a wide open area in there. Rather small. If anything, it's the arachnid I'm worried about. This wind is not helping us. I'm probably gonna run into the arachnid at this rate. You wanna know how brutal that was? Look at who's in my current party. Yeah, we need to fix that. I forgot that after the battle with the Goddess of Ice, it takes everyone else out of the party and puts them all back in at the same time. And since Liu joined us before Savina, he was put into the party. Yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> Especially since the uh, Arachnids... There was three Arachnids, by the way. They were all going after Gibari with a stun beam. And to top it all off, the only op option I had for loot was another copy of Soul Flash. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that battle was just, um, pretty annoying. <laughs> I mean, even Gabari, when he when the battle was finished, he said, "I need a long vacation after that one." So, uh, that's just um. Ah, yeah, okay, so the Flumers are able to chase you. Oh my God, this thing is on me like a hawk. Try to get it to forget about me. Perfect. No, nope, no. Nope. Just not my day. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have the sparkling snow, uh, looks like we've got the mountain apple wine as well, so that's good. We need to hurry back to the ritual room before this sparkling snow becomes pristine water. <laughs> suppose it's a good thing that that fight with the arachnid was before we got the sparkling snow. <laughs> Alright. Moving on up. Talk to the kid. Your Majesty, I'll need top quality materials for these great ice sculptures. Have you brought sparkling snow with you? If I don't have sparkling snow, I won't be able to make sculptures that are good enough. After you get me the materials, we'll think about what weapon goes with what sculpture. There you go, kid. <laughs> okay, now I have all the materials. All you need to do is check the ice sculptures and decide what weapons you want me to sculpt. There's something inscribed on this ice sculpture. Perhaps the words of the knight this is modeled after. I can take any attack. Guarding and protection are my forte. This piece of steel is my life. I see. This person must have specialized in that weapon. You know what it is, don't you? Well, a shield I wouldn't really classify as a weapon. But then again, I have seen both Shield Hero and Bofuri, so... Who am I to say no? <laughs> my philosophy. Deliver a finishing blow with precise aim. Nothing has escaped from me. This strange string is my heart and soul. A bow. And this one over here. Millions have fallen before me. I slash, stab, and bludgeon. This long spear is my best friend. You are a halberd. Which means that this one is the axe. There's nothing I can't cut. Even a wall of a thousand soldiers is nothing to me. This thick blade is my heart and soul. Definitely have them finished for you by tomorrow. 
So, the way to pa to technically pass time is we need to go back into Cursa. And we're going to rest our wings at the shop. God knows Liud needs it. <laughs> here. Might as well sell off whatever uh, photos we have. Gods of Ice came out perfectly. I mean, there's really no way to affect the uh, light level during that fight. So you're bound to get a perfect photo every time. Uh, this Flobo came out perfectly. That's good. And let's get more shish kebabs. And yeah, I don't need anything else here. Actually, you have wheat. Wheat, and we're done. Alright, and now finally, back to the ritual room. And we'll get to see the uh, fruit of the uh, kids' labors. Ah, Queen Shella, they're done. Perfectly. These are the best sculptures I've ever made in my life. I gotta say, these are some damn fine looking uh, weapons that you made for them. I knew you could do it, Queen Shella. You've completed the sculptures of the knight successfully. As I promised earlier, you will be the successor of the White Dragon. I had the White Dragon head for the port in Cursa. That ship you were on, Queen Shella, is it the Mindir? I remember that as being King Ladakhan's ship. We'll take it to Diadem for you. Now, go to the White Dragon. Well, at least uh, King Laudicon will begin his ship back. It's not going to be stranded here at uh, the Cliffs of Gomesia. So now, instead of going to where we met the White Dragon, we need to head off to the port of Cursa. As we go along, there he is. Or she is, I should say. Welcome back, Your Majesty. Everyone will be relieved that you came back in one piece. Oh, I thought you had something to say about the dragon. Oh well. <laughs> Shall we get on the white dragon? Yes!
please forgive me, Your Majesty. Even the Ocean Mirror couldn't possibly reclaim someone tainted by the breath of the evil god. Someone taken by the darkness. In order to save the world, you'll just have to give up on him. It's hopeless. And with that, we immediately go back to Anoe Noe. Shella, Queen Shella. Why didn't you tell us you were the Queen of Wazen? My apologies. I wasn't sure we would find anything in Wazen. And it just didn't feel right to tell you all at that time. Though we didn't know of your status, I apologize for any discourtesy, Shella, Queen of Wazen. Please, King Latikan. I'm just Shella, the same as I've always been. Well, if you insist. Thank you for understanding. No, it is I who must thank you for your tremendous help. Oh, Queen of... Uh, Shella. <clears throat> With you on our side, there is... Still hope your high, um, Shella. You seem pretty awkward, my lord. Do I? Um, I suppose I'm in a bit of a difficult situation. Yes, for now, I can be Shella. Just Shella. When I'm here, I can forget about what I am. The burden I carry is the Ice Queen. Oh no, what am I mumbling about? Get a grip, Shella. Tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow, we will know whether we can seal away the end Magnus or destroy them. Whether we can save Callus from the taint of Malpertio. Barnett said it's possible to free someone from the curse. Everything should be okay, right? Thanks. You have no idea how much better I feel with you here. Let's give it all we've got tomorrow. Well then, we're off. Off to Mintaka, the Imperial Capital. Godspeed. The future of the world rests on your shoulders. I don't know if I said it when we first met him, but Latikon is actually one of my favorite NPCs in this game. Both in character and design. I mean, that is one badass looking design. I'll have to admit. With the cape draped over his arm like that and everything. Okay. Well, we're back here in, uh... Anoe Anoe. You have that gift for me? But don't forget to start by so I can give you that special gift. Yeah, I thought not. The gift he gives us, it's pretty much end game material, so... 
It won't be until the very end of the game that we get it. Alright, that's it. Still have the wine, still have the cheese. I don't think we're forced to go to Mintaka at this point, so we should be able to hand those off now. So let's get back to the Inuinoi port. And we can take our shiny new dragon for a spin again. Good luck! Come back safely! Nope, it is forcing us to Mintaka. We should be able to leave, though. Oh yeah, this happens at this point. I forgot about this. <laughs> Random Alberio at the top there by the beetle. Um, it's not letting us interact with the dragon. Four hours. That's plenty of time. This doesn't look All right, so good. this here is a Gagarek. For the time being, these will all be around Mintaka, making Mintaka another boss uh, dungeon, technically. As you would expect from a demonic creature like this, it is Dark Elemental. Hey, we got the freeze. And there's quite a few things that the Gagrick is actually capable of doing. Like that. I also think it's Fire Elemental, I'm not 100% sure. I might be mistaken that fact with one of its, um, pallet swaps, but we'll see soon enough when it attacks us. Is that all? Nope. Pure death. Uh, darkness, I mean. Oh no, that is a fire attack. Alright, my bad. Okay, so as you can see, it's, uh... Some of its regular attacks can cause the headache status. <laughs> Gibari! Jeez! That's twice with the same weapon! I think that's a 7% chance, too. Battle shield, decent defense magnus for the men, but yeah, seven percent chance of freezing with this thing. That's just nuts. Never seen that. Actually, it looks like oh no, that's the looks for mine. All right, um, anything else new happen? Ah, looks like our one of our apples became the uh, forbidden fruit. So if we had Chronosio level 3, we'll be able to string four of them along in a combo to increase to get a Chronosio level 4. The problem with that is the Forbidden Fruit only lasts a half hour before it becomes a uh, Rotten Fruit. So that's just something to keep in mind. Also, I have yet to give the Ocean Mirror to Shella. Granted, everyone can use the Ocean Mirror. I just like to give it to Shella because it's... um for story and lore purposes. 
Uh, I also got an eel from, I think it was the, uh... Flo the Flobos that drop it. Uh, I'm alive? I'm sorry, but I can't stand up. I'll be okay. Please help the others. Alright. If we go in here, we can talk to this old lady here. What happened to the peace we had up until a while ago? There are monsters wandering around. Three of the baby fluff pups have wandered off in the confusion. What should we do? Would you be so kind as to take care of the last baby fluff pup for us? Yep. Sure, I'd love to. It's this one, isn't it? Thank you. He's like my baby. Please take good care of him. And we get the valuable item, fluff pup. This is how we get animals for Wazen. Now, as you can see, this Gagarak is just wandering around. So, the Gagareks, I mean, we can save the people here, but they don't give us any reward. You really only want to go for uh, photos of the Gagareks. You saved me. Thank you. Again, no reward for doing it. We just, I just want to get the photo of the gag rig, which I did, and we can pretty much just leave. All right. I don't believe there are any enemies in uh, enemies um animals in Aza for us to pick up. Um, just. Yeah, nothing in Aza. Uh, there is something in Mintaka that we need to grab first, though. If we recall, there was the uh, girl's uh, diary that we had to inspect. Is everyone okay? Oh, I don't think we... Yeah, we can do it here. I feel the dialogue as well. And we can get the girl's thoughts, Magnus, right here. So, before we head off to the fortress, I want to head back into Aza. If you recall, we weren't able to access the third floor of the living area over on the left here. with the girl's thoughts Magnus in hand we'll now be able to I have nothing to say to people from the Empire the Empire is just a nation of murderers insane cutthroats What? No one's ever said anything like that to me before. You came a long way just to tell me that? You're actually a good person. Here, take this, a token of our friendship. We'll get a red oak for Gibari. It's a memento of my father. Take good care of it. Now we can explore this area. Leave. Yep, right here we get a sunflower coin. And I think over here? Yep, we get pork ribs. Nothing over here. And nothing over here. And that's about it. Talk to this person. Huh? It stopped glittering. If we hadn't picked up the Magnus um, in that secret passage before, this person would tell us that they see a shining uh, thing down this hole. Which is a shortcut back to the bottom. And it actually shows us the uh, Magnus chest if we hadn't picked it up when we go down to the bottom. 
Alright, so, that's everything we're able to do here in Mintaka and Aza. So, only one place left to go here on Alfard. That's the Imperial Fortress. We're going to save that for next time. So, thank you all for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more great content. And next time on Button Kaido's Eternal Wings and Lost Ocean, it's time to save Callus. See you guys then.